We've had a pretty day today across our area. Low humidity and temperatures that were around 80 degrees across much of the area. But the fireworks show was also pretty. We showed you that a little bit earlier. Here's the time lapse of it as it goes over areas Portsmouth, Norfolk. A pretty view. And you can see that plane taking off from Norfolk International. They got a show on the plane there. Whoever sat on the left side of the plane was lucky as the plane flew by. Now, as we look over Tower Camp 10 for tonight, a nice quiet night, a couple of passing clouds across the area, the concert that's next door to us. At the pavilion is also over too, so things are starting to quiet down a little bit for this night. No rain across some areas, at least in Portsmouth and Norfolk tonight. Across the peninsula, you probably got a little bit of rain, as I did see some showers develop, move through your area earlier. 83 was the high today, average high is 84. So spot on with that. 1911 on this day, we had a high temperature of 98 degrees. Here's our temperatures now. 72 Virginia Beach, 71 degrees in Newport News. We're at 69 degrees in Chesapeake right now. 69 also Wallops Island. So the temperatures are cooling down a little bit, but they're kind of struggling to get any cooler right now. The air is still pretty dry. Dew points are near 60 degrees. Norfolk, Elizabeth City, and Chesapeake. They are starting to increase, though. I've been watching these numbers just over the last three hours, and they've gone up by about four points. So the numbers are quickly returning back to that level of being humid. And by tomorrow morning, it will be humid again. So you're going to those Sunday morning services, Sunday brunch. It's going to be sticky across your area. Here's a look at the rain. A couple of showers moving across the northern neck. Also through the uh, Middle Peninsula, at least trying to get into the Middle Peninsula. A couple of showers possible overnight, but not expecting any severe storms. Here's tomorrow. Temperatures are going to climb to the mid to upper 80s. A little hotter tomorrow and way more humid. A good chance for some rain, too, to develop, maybe into the late morning hours and perhaps into the afternoon. And the storms, if they do develop, could be strong to severe. A few of the storms in the area of green, the level one could be severe. Scattered severe storms for the area in yellow, that's a level two risk. Impacts for the storms tomorrow. Wind gusts, probably the primary threat. Hail's a possibility. Tornadoes are always a possibility when we have severe weather. I'm not expecting flooding, though, from the rain tomorrow. Let's preview that. Here's our future track for tonight and going into tomorrow morning. Rain starts to develop around 9 or 10 a.m. So scattered showers tomorrow morning, scattered thunderstorms into the afternoon. Again, some could be stronger. This model here has the storms really over the ocean, but skirting along the coastline. So we'll see if that verifies or not. But there is an opportunity for some showers and storms tomorrow during the day and also into tomorrow night. By Monday, looking dry until the afternoon, we could see a few showers redeveloping in the area. But what I'm more concerned about is what's coming Tuesday. A strong area of severe weather could be developing across uh, Wisconsin through Iowa by Tuesday morning. And that line of thunderstorms could race into our area Tuesday morning around 8 to noon. So some strong storms may be coming Tuesday morning as well. It's going to be hot in the next couple of days and way more humid. Temperatures will be in the 80s and 90s all week long.